All right. Hey, everybody. Here we go. Hi, Katie. How are you? Hey, Rich. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. <laughs> Two Chris's. Hey, Nisha. Hi, Aaron. Thanks for joining, everybody. Appreciate it. Looks like we're good to go. Okay. Excellent. Looks like everything's working all right. Um, awesome. So, hope everybody's having a good weekend. Hey, Brandon. <laughs> yeah, uh, that would be pretty awful. Do you guys, hold on, let me put it up here. Yeah, I I hope I don't gag. I don't really want to gag on live TV. Or not, it's not TV, whatever, live YouTube. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's possible. Hey, Becca, how's it going? Um, so I ordered a whole crap ton of samples from Olfactif. Hey, Ann, how's it going? Um, I don't know if you guys have ever shopped there. It was um, during like Black Friday was the first time I ever shopped there, but um, it took a long time just because, you know, USPS and whatnot, but it was fine. Um, hey, Melissa, thanks for joining. Hi, Teresa. Um, yeah, so I ordered a whole bunch of samples. I'm, I have about half of them here today. Um, and one of them that we'll do last, I'm gonna save this for last because God, I don't wanna smell it the whole time. <laughs> um, one of them is Secretions Magnifique. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna save that to the end just because it's kind of scary. Uh, and we're gonna start off real easy today. So I have eight here and um, I think I'm gonna start off with one called Vani Abricot. While I'm getting this ready, let me know your scent of the day. Anything good going on today? What you got? Hey, Jen. Thanks for joining. Hi, Amina. How's it going? Okay, so we're going to start with this one, but let me know your scent of the day while we are getting this going here. Hey, JC. Thanks for, going. Thanks for joining. All right. Okay, so like I said, starting easy here. Hi, Karen. Hi, Nazik. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, this is nice. So this is, com what, how do you say this? Com Comptoir, Sud Pacific. I don't know how you say this. <laughs> hey, D'Angelo, how's it going? Um, ooh, I don't know that one. Oh, nice. I want to try, Rich, I want to try some Perfume Roma. I've been making a list of like brands or houses that I want to try this year, and that is on my list. I haven't tried anything from them. Hi, Scented Moments. How are you? Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, okay. So, Comptoir Sud Pacific. I don't know how you say this, but that's the brand and it's called Vanille Abricot. And it's, you know, I feel like I've smelled this type of fragrance a whole bunch before. Um, very pleasant. It does have a little bit of like an apricotty feel and like a sweet, like a sugary sweet kind of a white vanilla. Like that's how I always describe it. When it smells more like a vanilla, like in a, like a icing kind of vanilla. I always just kind of refer to that as white vanilla or sugary vanilla, as opposed to like the more dark boozy vanilla. Yeah, so this smells like sugary white vanilla and apricot. It's very pleasant. Would I buy a bottle? I know these are inexpensive, but I don't think I would just because I've smelled this kind of like basic fruity vanilla so many times, but that's not bad. Hey, Nancy, how's it going? Thanks for joining. Yeah. Ah, very nice, D'Angelo. Hugo Boss Private Accord. I used to have um, Hugo Boss the scent for her Intense, and it's like a um, a peach one with chocolate, maybe? I can't remember. I liked it. Not enough to keep it, obviously. But All right. Let's see. Oh, nice. Excellent. Very good. Hi, Ellen. How are you? Happy New Year. All right. Hey, Eve. Thanks for joining. Good to see everybody here. What did Aaron say? I missed it. I see LOL Aaron, but I missed it. Let me go back. Where is Aaron? Where is Aaron? Why can't I see it? What the heck? Oh, there we go. Nope. That can't be what you're laughing at. I don't know what you're laughing at, Brandon. Anyway, <laughs> the, the chat's going too fast. I can't keep up. Here we go. Okay, so that was kind of a, a boring intro. It was fine. But uh, let's move on. And this one I'm more excited about. So we got the the Vanille Abricot out the way. Very pleasant. Oh, the barf bucket. Yes. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah. Um, oops. Wrong. Uh, yeah. So Erin offered earlier, she said if she lived close to me, she would make me a barf, barf bucket for this just in case I puke when I smell <laughs> secretions magnifique, which I thought was very generous of her. I really appreciate that. Um, I was just talking about Vanille Abricot from Com Comptoir Sud Pacific. Pacific. Uh, and it's fine. It's nice. It's lovely. Um, if you don't have like a 
fruity, sweet vanilla, then I think that that's an affordable one. And it's really nice. But like I said, I mean, I feel like I've smelled that a whole bunch. Oh, I love that one. I love Dama Bianca. Excellent. Hey, Melissa. What? You, uh, Aqua. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, cool. All right. So, um, hey, Scott, man, you're up late. Nice to see you. Wow. Didn't expect that. Um, all right. So the next one that I'm excited to try is Vanilla Flash. It's from Tower, Towerville. <laughs> um, and so that's Andy Towers, like more affordable line, I guess is kind of how I would put it. It seems like anyway. Um, and I have only tried one Andy Tower fragrance before, and I don't even remember the name of it. Um, oh, this one's, uh, so I have this way, like way down here and I can already smell it and it's nice. <laughs> This one is good. Oh, man. The, okay, so still, it's over here, and I can really smell this one. Holy shnikes. <laughs> this is a really good. Yeah, okay, so I see a lot of people are saying that they also really enjoy this one. Oh, my God, I'm going to have to buy this. I haven't even, like, put it to my nose yet, and I'm in love with this. So, again, this one's Vanilla Flash from Towerville. Um, oh. oh, it's so good. <laughs> When I put it closer to my nose, I get like a rose sort of like a floral note that I did not get from here. From further away, I picked up tons of like a boozy, like a dark vanilla sort of or boozy vanilla and like a tobacco-y kind of smell. But up close, I get like definitely some rose, like a spicy rose. It's actually kind of funny. Like I lose a lot of the tobacco and vanilla as it gets closer, but I can't smell the rose and the spices further away. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. I know. I need to try it. So that's another one, Rich, that's on my list. Um, my list to try out this next year because I have tried one before and this is my second for Mandy Tower, but obviously I need to try a lot more. So that's a house that I'm going to be digging into this next year for sure. Oh man. Has a strong rose note. Yeah. I, yeah, that's what I'm picking up. I feel like now I'm starting to get like a tiny bit of patchouli. Is there any patchouli in this? Anybody know? Yeah, me. Yeah, D'Angelo. Now I have to. This one's so good. I have to try the rest now. <laughs> this is so good. Wow. Yeah, I definitely want to try that one's on my list for sure. Hey, Seton. I just got done watching your video before I came on here. Nice to see you. Oh, hello from Germany. Thank you so much for joining. Appreciate it. Andy can take all my monies. Yeah, he's going to take some monies for this one for sure because I'm buying this. Holy crap, that's good. Okay, so that was Towerville Vanilla Flash. Oh, from Lithuania, holy cow. Thank you so much for joining. It must be super late over there right now or like very early in the morning. Thank you for joining. Um, Amber Flash is also really good. Okay, so I'm just gonna try the whole freaking line. Why not? That one's amazing. So that's Vanilla Flash from Towerville, love it. All right, next is one from Carner Barcelona and it's called Palo Santo. I have Tardes. This was, I put Tardes in one of my like best of the year lists recently. Um, but I really like that one. And I feel like I've smelled there. They have a leather one. I don't remember the name of it. Hey, Ant, man, you're up late too. Um, I feel like they, I can't remember the name of the leather one, but I've smelled that. And then I think there's one called Rima that maybe I've smelled before, but I've smelled those two so long ago that I can't remember. Yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. All right. So next up is Palo Santo is what we're going to smell now. Okay. This one's much softer than the last one. I feel like I did not expect that vanilla flash from Towerville to be like so strong, <laughs> like blew, blew me away. Um, but this one, I get some like some woodiness and it's like very creamy, like almost. So I, I'm feeling like there's some sandalwood in here because this is so creamy, but at the same time, it almost seems like not just that. Um, gosh, like it almost smells like there's like cream or milk in here almost. Like it's very milky. Um, okay, yeah, so you get that too. Yeah, oh, that didn't work on you. Gosh, I love, oh, okay, yeah, I get that then. But I do love Tardes. Sorry it doesn't work on you. No, so it's like, it is, it's like milky, but not in the lactonic way that sometimes goes sour on my skin, um, which is, which is good. Um, I don't think this would go sour on my skin. I haven't tried it on skin yet. Obviously just sprayed it, but this one doesn't smell like that kind of lactonic note that sometimes doesn't work on me. So we'll see. Is Heather here? 
I missed her. Well, if Heather's here, hi, Heather. I can't see your, oh, there it is. Okay, I see it now. Hi, Heather. <laughs> All right. Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah, that's the one I tried, Rich. But it was so long ago, like, a, I don't know when. It was a really long time ago, so I don't really remember. And I think that I used to not like, I mean, I know I used to not like leather fragrances as much as I do now. The, the, yeah, the social distancing perfume. Yeah, that's coming up. <laughs> We're going to do that last. That was the third one. So I just did number three, which is Palo Santo. Um, all right, let's move on to number four. Let's see. What are we going to do? Oh, Amina, I know, will be excited for me to try this next one. Um, and it is, hey, Wayne, how's it going? It is Memoir Woman from Amouage. I'm actually really excited to try this one, too. Um, oh, I haven't tried that one, Katty. I need to try that one. Okay. Um, so this one is Memoir Woman, like I said, from M. Wash. And I have a couple, M I, I used to have three, I only have two now, um, but definitely enjoy uh, several M. Wash fragrances. Their new release, Meander, I love, that's really good. Kind of leans a little bit more on the masculine side, um, but I still really like it. Um, okay, so here we go, Memoir. Ooh, I get like incense and a little bit of leather right off the bat. Oh, Eve, you really like this one too? Nice. This one. Oh, wow, this is nice. So I get like incense and leather. I feel like there's something a touch sweet here. Like maybe like a spice that's a little bit sweet. I don't know what that is though. But there's like something like that's spicy, but like, but like a little bit sweet spicy, like maybe a spice you would use in baking. Oh, it's nice. And I get like a tiny bit of woods. Yeah, Jen, did you end up buying me under Jen? Because I know you were thinking about it. That's a really good one. Hey, Hills, how's it going? Hey, Michelle. No, I saved it for the end, Michelle. So no worries. I'm, I decided that I don't want to spray Secretions Magnifique before the end because I don't want to sit here with it wafting for very long. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just did Memoir Woman. This is really nice. I'm not sure. Does anybody know what would be in there that would make it like a little bit sweet? Like I said, it's kind of like, so I'm getting, like I said, incense and leather and like, yeah, like sort of like this sweet, spicy thing going on. I really like this. I'm gonna have to buy this one. Are there florals in this too? I feel like there's some light florals now that it, the incense is kind of calming down. I don't know, I like that. Oh, interesting. Cool. Missed it. Oh no. Yeah, that's too bad. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe Melissa, it could be. I'm not sure, I don't know the note breakdown, but it's really good. Rose, yeah, okay, nice. I don't know, I think, is it two Fs? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's true, because you would probably smell like one. <laughs> that's very true, it would be a good zombie apocalypse. Maybe I will uh, hang on to the sample just in case. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's the first half. So now the last four are all from Etat Libre d'Orange or Eldo. And I'm gonna start with Fat Electrician. Gosh, there we go, Fat Electrician. Um, and this one is, I know it's a vetiver, but I don't know much more about it. I just know it's one that people really, really like. Okay, thanks Seton. So that's probably the florals that I'm picking up. Interesting, nice. That's insulting to zombies, Ant says. <laughs> Well, listen, so Ant uh, smelled this, when was it, a couple weeks ago, you said, Ant, um, in his live that he did, and I haven't watched it yet because I kind of didn't, I don't want to see other people's reactions. Um, the only person I've ever seen react to Secretions Magnifique is um, Katie Puckrick, and I watched her video a long time ago. She was like the first um, reviewer that I ever really watched, um, and I remember her reacting to it. Uh, but that's the only person I've ever seen react to it. So, all right, here we go. Fat electrician. By the way, I kind of want to buy this one for my dad because he's an electrician. Um, but then like, I like he has a great sense of humor and I tend to buy him a lot of gag gifts for things. Um, but uh, at the same time, I'm like slightly wondering if he'll be offended if I bought him fat electrician. I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Okay, so I'm, 
I'm definitely getting vetiver. And something that reminds me of, like, um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of myrrh and tonka from Joe Malone. A little bit. And woody. There's like some cedary wood. It smells like my fence. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. It was priceless. Oh, Chris, that sucks. This smells nice. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. So not great performance on this one. Yeah, I think that's true. Is it? That would be funny, wouldn't it, Seton? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so I get a lot of cedar. I get like, a, like I said, it kind of reminds me of myrrh and tonka a little bit from Joe Malone, but not really the tonka. Maybe it's myrrh in here. Um, and vetiver. There's like a tiny bit of spice in here too. Maybe like a little bit of peppery spice. That's nice though. It's like um, a tiny bit sweet again. Could be the myrrh doing that though. I think there's myrrh in here. It kind of smells like that. I really like that one. That's Fat Electrician. Apparently it has crap performance according to Chris. So that sucks, but um, it smells really good. And I might buy it for my dad. <laughs> All right. Next one. We're getting there. I'm a little nervous. Maybe I should slow down. <laughs> um, the next one is I Am Trash. What a name. So this one is like upcycled. Uh, oh, yeah. The ants. Are you talking about Wayne? For Yeah, ants smelled that on his stream. Um, oh, my God. There is? Who makes that? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Um, okay, so I am trash. It's like an upcycled fragrance. I don't exactly know all the details. Yeah, I know Hillary's talked about this one before because you said you wear it to the gym. So it must be a light fragrance, I would assume then. <laughs> that's awesome, Aaron. You guys crack me up. Okay, let's see here. Oh. Is that just like a crap ton of ISO Super in here? Because that's kind of what it smells like to me. That's not bad though. It's like, um, it kind of reminds me of light blue. <laughs> I don't know why. Is there like an apple -y kind of thing? So light blue is like lemon and apple. And I don't think there's lemon in this, although there could be like a slight touch. I don't know. No, I don't think there's lemon in this. I think it's just apple -y. It's like Appley and ISO E Super. And that's all I get. <laughs> all right, there we go. Thank you. Okay, so it is. So I think the Apple and probably that the ISO E Super is what's reminding me of. Um, nice. It's what's reminding me of light blue. It reminds you of light blue also. Nice. Yeah. Um, somebody tell Rich the story behind I Am Trash because I just know it's upcycled and they made it sort of out of trash. <laughs> Yara. <laughs> Thanks for joining, Yara. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, God. It's like, that'd be a good name. All right. I like this. I, I think it would make a good gym fragrance. But I do also have um, the light blue, what's it called? It's, no, that's not it. The, the lemon, the extra lemony one, <laughs> whatever that's called. Is it like Sicilian's? No, not Sicilian. Maybe it's Sicilian zest, something like that. I don't know what I have. I have one of the light blue flankers, so I probably don't need that, but it is nice. All right. Um, <laughs> humans are trash. Katy. All right, here we go. Oh, did she make this? Nice. Or that I am trash. Awesome. Here we go. Thank you. All right. There you go, Rich. So they use the remnants from the culinary and fragrance industries and repurpose them again into or for the necessary ingredients like Rose Neo. Absolutely. Very good. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I agree. Super cool. Thank you. All right, here we go. Um, we have one more before the end, and, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I already tested this one. You can see I, I've worn this a couple times because this was on my wish list. It's called Le Fin du Monde, and this one just piqued my interest because it has iris and like a gunpowder note in it that was curious. But also, I love the name. 
um, which means like the end of the world. And there's a beer that I've drank, gosh, since I was like 21, basically, <laughs> um, that maybe before that. Uh, but it's called Le Fin du Monde, and I really enjoy that beer. And so I don't know, this just kind of caught my eye when I saw this one. And the bottle is like a gold instead of their normal silver. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, I tried it just so you know, <laughs> but I'll spray it again. Um, I do like this one. I already can tell you I like this one, um, but, and it sounds like this might be a running theme, the performance is not good on this. And it's very quiet. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, I'm glad your brain didn't explode. I, I, I'm sure I was at least 21, Aaron. <laughs> Um, yeah. So what I always tell my students, so we talk about like, you got, most of you guys know I teach AP psych. Um, and so I have to teach neuroscience as part of it. Um, and when we talk about the frontal lobe and how it's not fully developed until you're like 25, maybe we think even closer to 30 now, I always tell them like, you know, this is the part of your brain that's like responsible for the development of your personality and for rational thinking and decision making. And so that's part of the reason why when you're young, you are irrational and you make poor choices part of the reason your hormones are another reason. But um, I always tell them like, this is why you shouldn't drink until you're at least 21, if not older, because that part of your brain's still developing and you could really stunt its growth. Um, <laughs> so I, I try to discourage the underage drinking for my students. Um, all right, so here we go. I, yeah, I love uh, a lot of Quentin Beach fragrances. Um, I really like this one. So you definitely get the iris and the gunpowder. <laughs> yeah, it's it's next. It's next. Um, so I really get the iris and the gunpowder in this. I think there's like some ambrette that I get from this as well. And like a woodiness. It sort of reminds me if you've ever smelled, is it Bois de Iris from Van Cleef and Arpels? It reminds me a little bit of that, but with the added gunpowder note. It's kind of like you just added some gunpowder to that. I really like this. Um, it, it Like I said, when I spray it on, um, it's it gets quiet pretty fast and um, and it goes away pretty fast. So I'm like iffy as to whether or not I want to buy a bottle. And the, the main issue is, so they make this in a 50 mil, but I can't find it anywhere. It's sold out everywhere. And it's kind of making me think that this might be discontinued. Um, and I don't really want a hundred mil of this. I can tell you that. Like, I don't like it enough to, I mean, they're not that expensive comparatively to other niche fragrances, but because the performance is so bad, I just don't want to spend as much as a hundred mil costs. Um, but if I can find a 50 mil or maybe if I can find a pre-owned bottle, I might buy this, but yeah, it right now, gosh, it's not looking good. I'm having a hard time finding a 50 mil. Thanks D'Angelo. Appreciate it. All right. So here we go. Um, I'm going to let you guys vote. Do I spray this secretions magnifique on paper or on skin? <laughs> now, when I spray it on skin, it's gonna sit there until we're done with the live, but then I'm gonna immediately wash it off as much as I can. Oh God, thanks guys, you, you're real sweet, appreciate it. <laughs> I knew, I, I shouldn't have even asked, I know the answer. Yeah, I know the answer, <laughs> right? Exactly, exactly, Kati, I know the answer. Oh, thank you, one person's being nice to me. Oh, but not you, you're not being nice to me. <laughs> skin everywhere. I am not spraying this everywhere. <laughs> oh, goodness. I, okay. All right. You're, that's true, Eve. That's true. Okay. Here we go. Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> all right. God, I'm a, I didn't think I was going to be this nervous, but I'm kind of nervous. Oh, God. All right. I'm going to do it. I'm going to spray it on the top of my hand right here. I'm going to spray it this way. Hold on. Oh, by the way, you guys get a sneak peek. Can you see my new... Uh, setup I have there for my fragrances. I'm not spraying this on my clavicles. God. Melissa says, don't do it. Spray it on paper. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh, God. Why did I spray it three times? What's wrong with me? Oh, God. <laughs> Why? Sorry about the dog. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why would somebody make this? So, oh God. 
it smells like like a little bit sour milk almost not like completely sour but like it's slightly sour milk oh my god it smells like stinky wet dog um oh oh <laughs> oh god <laughs> this is terrible <laughs> I just looked up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it does smell like sour milk and wet dog. Yeah. Oh my God. That's exactly what it is. Oh, it's so bad. Like I have this, like, um, like I have this really bad feeling in my chest cavity right here, right now. Um, there is like a metallic note to it, but it doesn't smell as much like blood as I expected, given that blood is supposed to be a, uh, I'm not licking it, Michelle. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, it, it <laughs> yes, Ant, it is. Um, I'm not getting as much of a blood note as I thought I would, considering that there's like supposed to be a blood accord in here. Oh, Lord. There's something sweeter coming out now, though. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. God, this is awful. <laughs> yeah, the name right away kind of puts you off of it, doesn't it? Oh, <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, my God. I'm just going to like, when I send people things from now on, like my friends, not like, you know, people I don't know, but like my friends, when I send them samples with little cards, I'm going to spray it on the cards just to like mess with people. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> so before I did this, like I posted that I was going to do this, right? Yeah, <laughs> it might be. Oh, God, it's bad. I'm waiting for the dry down because there is something sweet coming out now that I didn't get it first. So I'm like hoping it will change. Um, God, it's bad. <sighs> like I really feel not good right in my chest right now. Um, so when I posted that I was going to be, <laughs> that I was going to be, uh, it was going to be doing this and I got like a wide variety of reactions. Like some people were like, Oh, it's not that bad. Um, and you know, then there was one person who said this was the only fragrance they've ever smelled that made them angry. And I was like, Oh God, I'm going to rage. And you know what? Like I'm not feeling like I need to rage but I am feeling like I'm having trouble breathing, <laughs> like kind of like anxiety, like when you get that tension in your chest. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so bad. No, no. <laughs> I think I think so, Rich. I think that's what I saw on their site, maybe. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm like, keep it. My hand is as far. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but my hand is like elevated and as far away from me as I possibly can get it right now. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh -huh. If it's that moon makes you angry, you can see that. It's strong. What is that? Yeah, I will try that one. Not next. I need like a break, but I will try it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh my God. That would be a good idea. I actually never feel good when I give blood because I have like an issue. I don't, I can't, like when I go to give blood, or when I have in the past, they're like, please don't try this again because my veins don't cooperate. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, it's bad. So um, <laughs> thanks, thanks, Aunt, for the warning. Maybe I should listen to you. Uh, so, okay. <sighs> it's not good. It's like a little bit metallic, like pennies or like, you know, like coins, metal coins. I don't get a ton of the blood note, to be honest. I still get a lot of that slightly gross milk and wet dog. It smells like wet dog. Um, <laughs> sorry. You probably are having like flashbacks to when you tried it, Eve. Um, oh, Katty, I need to, you're going to have to tell me more about that. I don't know about that one. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, it's, it's not good. Uh, okay. Let me try some more. I'm trying some more guys. There's, there's some, there's a floral in here, I think. Oh, what was it? I think I read there's a floral. Was it Iris? I think I read there was Iris in here. 
and I can kind of get a little bit of floral. Yeah, the metallic note is for the blood, but it reminds me more of like, like coins, like if you're sucking on a coin, which don't do that, that's disgusting. But like, you know, I'm sure everybody's done that at some point. You've had a coin in your mouth and it's gross. Yeah. Or if you've ever had braces and like you, so I had braces twice because <laughs> I had some messed up teeth. Now they're all right. Um, but uh, but uh, when I had braces and like sometimes you would cut the back of your lip with it. Um, oh God, it's bad guys. Hold on. I got to take a drink of water. I'm feeling not good. <laughs> Anyway, um, it kind of is like when you would cut your, the like back of your, like inside of your mouth, your lip on your braces, because there's like that metal from the brackets and then blood, kind of like that. This is bad. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know what else I can pull from this. There's something a little bit sweet. There's something a little bit floral, but mostly it smells like gross milk and wet dog. Does the water taste like secretions? No, thank God. But I also like drank it with this one and had this one away. If I put it up to my nose, yeah, I agree with that. I do get a fishy note from it. I think that's what's making me think like a, a wet dog slash like a slightly spoiled milk thing. It's like fishy a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't think I don't think anybody would. Well, apparently some people like this, but I don't think. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa. I can't imagine people liking this. It would be real hard. God. Okay. So, um, let me smell the other ones real quick. Oh, this is bad. Um, yeah, let's go back. So the com comptoir sud Pacific, uh, what's that called again? Vanilla, va wait, vanilla apricot. That one still smells exactly the same. Very linear, sweet, sugary, uh, apricot -y vanilla. Very pleasant. Um, I don't think this is a Quentin Biche. If it is, then I'm going to message him and be like, what the serious F dude. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> You're right, Jasmine. It's so bad. It's really bad. Yeah. Okay. Let's try vanilla flash. Cause that one was good. Oh, this is really pleasant. Yes. I get vanilla to like a boozy vanilla tobacco rose spices. I'm going to buy this one. Vanilla Flash will be mine. It is so good. Thank you so much, sir. I know it's super late there. Thanks, Ant. I'm going to have to go back and watch your reaction now. I can't wait. Yeah, you guys need to go check out um, his live. Did you? Uh, did Nick try it too or just you, Ant? Just curious. Um, but go check it out and see his reaction too. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, Palo Santo is really soft. Smells pleasant, woody, right? Obviously, um, a little spicy. Maybe there's tonka in here. Actually, it's like a it's like a very very mild version of Feb Delicios, but with more wood and like I said, like really mild, less spicy. Just me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, well done. I have to go check that out now. Um, okay. Thank you. Good. Okay. And Twenly. What did, what did Eve say? Oh, I missed it. On it. <laughs> okay, I got back to it. I was like, what is so funny? Yes, God, I hope somebody has. <laughs> yeah, please do a video on that. I would love that. By the way, Eve posted a video. Was that this morning, Eve? I feel like I watched it this morning. Maybe it was yesterday. Anyway, she posted a video with like some unpopular opinions and I agree with all of them. Um, so I'm not sure. I probably a lot of you will too. So I'm not sure how many of us would think that they're that unpopular in terms of uh, what we think. Uh, but it was fantastic video. Uh, really well done. Check that out. Okay. So anyway, Vanilla Flash, amazing buying that. Palo Santo's Pleasant. Need to try that on skin. Pretty quiet fragrance, but it's nice. Yeah. Memoir Woman, really nice too. Still very incensey, um, and the, the leathers calm down. A lot of incense, a lot of like sweet spice there. Some woodiness, love it. Really good. That's a good one too. I might need to buy that also. Okay. Hey JJ. 
Oh, this is nice. What one's this? Oh, fat electrician. I didn't even know what I was smelling. Yeah, fat electrician is really nice. Definitely a lot of vetiver in there. A lot of cedar. Tons of vetiver and cedar. The I think it's myrrh that I'm picking up from this. That's calmed down now. It's more like the vetiver and cedar really are just out there at this point. Hey, Colin. Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, happy new year to you too. Nice to see you. Thanks. <laughs> um, okay. What was this one? So the I am trash still smells a little bit like light blue, but it's really soft now. Like it's, I would imagine that already at this point, if I were wearing it, it would be a skin scent, but I think that is a good idea for, um, for a gym scent, like how Hillary uses it. Um, and then La Fine du Monde, like I said, I already wore this a couple times and I really like it. The gunpowder sticks around. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like this really nice iris woody gunpowder thing. But unfortunately, like I said, it's very soft and it doesn't last a long time. So that's why I'm, you know, iffy about buying that one. Um, plus, I already have two here that I want to buy for sure. Anyway, okay. I'm going to do this one more time and then I'm going to go wash it off. Okay, guys, because this is nasty. All right. What the fuck? Why? Why does somebody make this? Oh, Lord. It's it's the same. It's still it's, the milk has died down. It's not as milky, but it's still like a soury milk, fishy, metallic, wet dog. God, it's bad. No, no. Okay, I'm done smelling that, guys. I smelled it a whole bunch though. I will never spray this on my skin again. I might keep it. Like I said, I might keep it to to troll people. Amina, next time I send you some samples. Be on the lookout. <laughs> and Chris and Hills. Oh, God. Yeah, I can't believe I sniffed it. The projection is not actually that strong, D'Angelo. Like, um, I can't really smell it here-ish. You can see how far away my hand is. Yeah, it's got to be kind of like, I don't know, about a, a foot or less away from my nose to be able to smell it. Yeah. <laughs> Room spray. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. It's, I hate comedian Chris. Um, oh my God. It's so bad. But I, I feel like you should try it. <laughs> Someone else needs to try this too. Besides Ian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aaron's like, I'm not doing that. I, I will probably not troll people by spraying this on the, on the cards that I send within their packages. But, uh, but part of me wants to. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure somebody likes this, even though I can't fathom it. I cannot. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Colin. That sucks. That's nice of you to take care of her, though. Oh, man. <sighs> yeah, I think. It could be. Oh, man. You might not want to try it then, Aaron. Yeah, I won't. I won't troll you with this. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is what yeah like if um if i'm in a store and people are getting too close to me i'm just gonna keep it in my pocket and like spray it like get away six feet six feet <laughs> you know what? honestly even after like we're all vaccinated and can do stuff again i still would like people to stay six feet away from me unless it's like you know really good looking people but otherwise and my friends you guys can get closer <laughs> Then uh, get my stuff ready for school tomorrow. Yay. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining, guys. I hope that you all get a chance to smell this at some point in your life. I really hope you get to smell this too. Oh, my God. Um, wow. That was an experience. All right. Anyway, have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Bye. <laughs> God, <it's> bad. <laughs>